I'm taking up this question number 15 uh, from the quiz 6.2 which was regarding geometric and algebraic vectors. The question is the sum and difference of two vectors u and v are given. So how will you find the vectors themselves? I'm changing this question a bit for you making it interesting. I want you to solve this both geometrically and algebraically. So that is the point. So give me two solutions for this problem. One algebraic solution, another one geometric solution. So let's try to see how we can provide these solutions, right? So one way of doing it is like this. It says the sum and difference of two vectors u and v is given. It means that vector u plus v is given to us. Let it be, let us say, vector a. And differences u minus v is given to us. Let us say it is b. So the question really is, we need to show how will you find the vectors themselves. That means how will you find u and v if you are given their sum and difference. So one solution was, which we did earlier also, is we'll give these equations numbers. Let's say this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Now what happens if I do equation 1 plus equation 2? So when I add them up, what do I get? I get 2u and v minus v is 0 is equals to vector a plus b. And therefore I can say, well, u is equals to a plus b divided by 2. So I get the vector u in terms of a and b. Similarly, if I do equation 1 minus equation 2, then what do I get? If I take away equation 2 from 1, I get 2v equals to a minus b. And so v is equals to a minus b over 2. So that is my result. And that is how I can find the vectors themselves if I am given their sum and difference. Now another way of looking into this is that whenever we have sum and difference and we have two vectors, then basically we can solve this using a parallelogram. So let me make a parallelogram. Here we have a parallelogram. Let's say this is vector u and that is my vector v. Now to find this sum, we actually draw a parallel a vector parallel to v with its tail at the head of u. So we get this side and we get this vector. This is my v. And therefore u plus v becomes the diagonal of this, right? So we can complete this and say, well, this is my parallelogram and here the diagonal represents u plus v. So this is u plus v. Now to get u minus v, what do we do? The other diagonal gives us u minus v, right? So if I have this diagonal here, that is u minus v. So this diagonal here is u minus v vector, correct? So that is how, now let's reverse the question. That is, we are given these diagonals, u minus v and u plus v. And we are saying that the value of these diagonals is a and b. So now we say that this u minus v is b vector. And this is a vector, vector a. Now how will you find u and v given a and b? That is, that is the question, right? So you can actually do something here to get the answer. We know that these diagonals will bisect, right? This is always a midpoint. So you can write u in terms of these vectors, correct? So u could be written as this is half of a. Do you see that? Let me just name it first. It'll be it'll become simpler. So let's say a b c d, right? Let me call it like this. And midpoint b, let us say O. In that case, we can write AD, the vector AD is equal to vector AO plus OD, correct? 
Now, vector AD is U, correct? U. And AO is half of U plus V, that is half of A. OD is half of BD, that is half of U minus V. Half of B, do you see that? So, straight away you get vector U is half of A plus half of B. That is half of vector A plus B. Similarly, you can find what V is. So this is your V, right? So, V could be written as, do you see that? A O, right? Which is half of A. And when you go backwards from here, reverse direction, O B. O B is half of B with a minus sign. So, minus half of B. That is equals to half of A minus B. So, you can also look this problem in this fashion and provide an answer, right? That's kind of a geometric solution here. So, we are trying to do geometric and algebraic solution for this question. I hope you appreciate that part. Thank you.